everyone, welcome to the pre-match press conference ahead of our game against the Chicago Fire this weekend at City Field. Uh, if you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get started with Juan Carlos. Hi, Coach. Uh, thank you for your time. Just wanted to know any updates in terms of how Maxi is feeling uh, heading into this match. And how are you planning to um, back up uh, Tati's absence against Ch Chicago Fire? Thanks. Um, he Maxi trained full today, so it looks good. Um, and, um, you know, we have, uh, in my opinion, three three choices in the in front. That's Eber, of course. Uh, Thales can play there. And you can also play Maxi as a false nine. So we'll see what we end up with. Michael and Drew. Ronnie, uh, thanks for taking the time. You had mentioned uh, in the last press conference how um, with everyone healthy, it is difficult for you sometimes to make uh, decisions on the lineup. I'm curious from a coaching perspective, how much you prefer having a consistent uh, set lineup that you can, can rely on and count on. Uh, do you think that that helps you uh, get better results or is, uh, is rotation a necessary part of a, of making the choices? I think competition is very positive for, you know, everybody has to keep themselves on the, on toes, on the toes and, you know, to be, be ready and perform when you have an opportunity. So, so I'm very happy for that. Uh, the trainings get much better when you have a, a lot of uh, players, good players and quality in the, in the, in the squad. So, and there's many games and there's going to be injuries. There's going to be suspensions like this with Tati now. So everybody has to be ready when we need the, the players we have. Um, so, um, and of course, consistency is important. Um, if you change around the, the back four all the time or you change for too much in the games, you you saw last year what will happen when we go on uh, many games without... Uh, without uh, winning football games. So um, so have a good balance between the consistency and also rotation, I think, uh, is the, the right one. Um, but uh, the positive effect is, of course, uh, what you get in training every day. Our tempo in training is higher than what is in the matches. And then, you know, we train on on um, a good habits. Christian Hennig. Hi, Coach. Uh, Chicago had a midweek game themselves against Red Bulls. I'm just curious if you saw that and, and what have been kind of your key takeaways from the Chicago fire side and the way they play. It's a strong result, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, they should have won uh, also maybe when you, you see uh, they're leading uh, to the end of the game. They have quality. Um, Shakiri, uh, of course, is, uh, is very good. Um, they have other very good ball players in the, in the team. Uh, fullbacks that is coming. Uh, so it's it's a lot of quality in, in that squad. Um, and now they look look sharp. They look dangerous. So um, so as I said, always in, in MLS, whatever team you meet, you you don't meet teams have given up or don't uh, or much worse in quality. It's very, very similar. And um, it's about having your day. And it's about being ready and, and prepared. Um, so um, it's a lot to to do to plan for. Uh, we know who they are and uh, what they do, but um, we have to also take out their weaknesses and um, and get our positive play that we have in many game home games now forward. So we create enough chances to win the game. Michael Andre, you have another one. Yeah, I do. And uh, just as a clarification question, I'll ask you, uh, Esteban, are we going to get a press conference before the New England game? No. All right. So if I could ask, uh, try to ask two. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Ronnie, the first question would be about uh, Tavon Gray. Um, he was, you, you said last week that everyone was training, that you could remember. So you thought that everyone was going to be fit. Uh, he wasn't on the injury report, but then it was, I guess, mentioned uh, maybe during the broadcast that he was um, he had an illness that was undisclosed. Uh, so curious about him. And then, uh, well, I guess I'll let you answer that one first. I think, uh, you know, he trained uh, full today again. Uh, he had the injury. I uh, asked the disease for, he was sick for a week. 
and felt uh, a little bit too weak to to be a part of the game. Now it's gone more days, so he feels of course stronger, and uh, I expect him to be in the squad and, uh, and also a chance to start the game. Thank you. And then my last one. Um, I know you like to focus on Chicago, but being that we won't have a chance to talk to you prior to New England, um, just wanted to ask you your thoughts. I mentioned the the roster selection for uh, consistency with them with the MLS and and in league play. And I know it's uh, uh, it's different when you're playing in cup competitions and you have experience with with that, both with N- NYCFC and in other places you've played. At what point do you start to look at? Uh, I, I know coaches at at certain point they start to put an emphasis on on the cup competition and saying, okay, we're in a, a quarterfinal or we're in a semifinal. We have to start to play our best players. Um, do you have a, a a specific point? Is it a quality of opponent or a specific point where you start to say, okay, this is where we really have to get uh, serious about it? I think it's, uh, you know, we, we go to win that game. Uh, cup, the cup is important for us. Uh, and uh, then, of course, it says, then I also say that we're not going to come here with a, with a second team, that's for sure. But uh, I have so good squad, so many good players. Uh, last time I played a really good team without uh, having the, a lot of the starters. So I, I will, I'm sure it's going to be something between in, in that way. But um, the most important thing that uh, we want to win and uh, New England is a really good football team. So we have to prepare well to, to get something out of that. Final question, Christian Hennage. Hi coach. You, you talked about Tales and Ebe there as, as solutions up front. I'm curious, do you enjoy those kind of selection decisions or do you find you sleep a little bit less on those weeks? I sleep a little bit less because <laughs> I want everybody to play. And I feel very bad to put people out of the team or you're going to play both of them as well at the same time, you know, so um, makes makes diff- this decision makes makes less sleep and a lot of thinking uh, because it has to be the right decision. And uh, in our, when you think about my values and how I see things and um, has to be fair. Um, and also it's also about what's going to be important in this game. Uh, how do I see the, the match uh, picture uh, and who going to suit that uh, as best as possible. So, so it's, um, it's always tougher to, to pick team and a lot of, when you have a lot of opportunities, uh, but at the same time, it's very good because you can change it inside the games as well. Great. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. We have defender Malti Armandson here in the pre-match press conference ahead of our game against Chicago Fire. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get started with Michael and Dreher. Malte, uh, good to see you back in fit. And, uh, you know, the, I like the performance from uh, from the midweek. I'm curious, uh, this year um, versus last year, less of a, of a platoon situation. Last year, you... Um, and Goody kind of switched off. Um, this year, Ronnie was. It seems like when you're fit, you're the first choice. Do you feel like that puts more pressure on you uh, to be able to stay fit and play in as many games as he wants you to uh, to play in? Um, no, I don't feel like it's putting more pressure on me. It's. I think it's obvious for for all players. We we all want to stay fit all the time if possible. So. Uh, Definitely no. I would like to stay fit last year as well as this year and the coming years as much as I can. Christian Hennage. Hi, Malte. If possible, can you explain to us a little bit the relationship you have with Chris Gloucester? Obviously, you both want to play as many minutes as possible, but you are also teammates. I'm, I'm just kind of curious how that relationship pans out. Yeah, like we're we're teammates. We're We're friends. So... So uh, I was with Goody too. Uh, we're we're helping each other every day. We're at there on on training, helping each other, trying to make each other better every day. And uh, yeah, Juan Carlos. Hi, thank you for your time. I wanted to ask you if you know, being a defender, you obviously train with uh, great players within the squad, but. How do you prepare uh, against a player 
like Shakir with the experience that he has, you know, I know it's a collective effort, but you as a defender, do you see any like difference as to how you go against him? Uh, yeah, I think for this league, there there will be extraordinary players uh, every now and then, but um, everyone knows Shakiri has a very good left foot and he is uh, quick and strong. But um, now that we're training with with our team every day, we also have very good individual players. So, so if it's very different from that, I don't think so. But but at the same time, you you know this is a guy that can do something special, and you want to be aware of that. Michael and Jerb. Malte, uh, this is your second season with uh, MLS. Last year, Chicago was one of the teams that stifled NYCFC. I think you uh, basically split the season, drew one, lost one, and 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 uh, won one. Is this a team? that you uh, you think you that NYCFC or maybe you personally has feel like you have to perform better than to uh, to demonstrate that uh, you're a, a better or more quality quality opponent uh, I think I think uh, we want to always show that we or we want to try to be the better team so we want to show this this game the coming games against them, against everyone, as as well as last year, that that we want to be the better team. And even though result wise, we we may not have been that last year, we 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 want to be it this year. So so for sure, we want to beat them, and we want to show that we are the better team. Final question, Christian Hedish. Multi, you're you're now in your second season in, in MLS, as as Michael touched on there. How is your adjustment coming along in terms of the culture of the soccer, everything that, that comes with it. How oh, my adjustment? Um, yeah, I feel more comfortable. I think it's easy for everyone to see. Also, the the longer I've been here now, as you say, my, my second year, I I feel more comfortable. I start to be more myself. And like this year is just easier because you, you have had a year to get to know how we want to play, how we want to do things. So, so I think it's, it has to be like that, that, that this year has to be, or I think it's natural that this year will, will be better year. So uh, yeah, it's great. I'm enjoying to play whenever I can. And uh, so are the whole team and we, we enjoy this period we're in with, with a good streak of winning games. Great. Thank you everyone.